The Democrats are out for a witch hunt and they're not winning. Yes, let's talk about James Comey. I'm going to give you the top 10. I'm going to give you the top 10 things we learned today regarding James Comey. I'm going to cut to the chase. Save you some time. Make sure you share my videos. Follow me on YouTube. Subscribe. Like. Get your hand to Danny Nope. Like. Like. You're like. watching Shirley's World. I got my elephant because I'm a Republican. Hey. Let me fix my trunk. My elephant. Hey. Okay. Top 10 things that we learned about James Comey. For those who might be under a rock, James Comey was the former director for the FBI under the Obama administration, and then he stayed on and was under the Trump administration. Trump should have got rid of him. But again, our honorable, amazing president wants to give everybody a fair shot. He did. He failed. He was fired. So James Comey fired as the FBI director. Of course, you know, was cross-examined today by those witch hunts trying to find collusion with Russian saying that Mr. Trump talked you into it, didn't he? He did, didn't he? He told you. We want you to tell us what you guys had to talk about. What you have to talk about. I'm going to give you the top things that we learned. The top ten things we learned. Number one, Trump was never under investigation. That, that's the key thing that they're trying to find. Is Trump under investigation? No. He denied it three times. No, no, and no. He's not under investigation. They twist that around so many times it was working my nerves. Uh, number two, Trump did not obstruct justice. That is the key thing they're trying to do so they can what? Impeach Mr. Trump. Now let's get this straight. Like I told you in my previous videos, Mr. Trump has been in office acting as president for about four and, and a couple of days, months. Four months and a couple of days. How can a man be in office four months and you act like he was part of the political uh, charades that you guys play, your monopoly, your your own personal chess chess and checkers, not monopoly, chess and checker games that the Democrats and the Republicans have played with the constituents' money, taxpayer dollars. We're all tired of that. Number three, let me get to number three. Trump did not collude with Russia. He had no no connections, no agreement, no like hey, this is what we're going to do. You help me get some votes. This is a workout. You know, this whole Trump, Nixon, impeachment, indictment needs to stop. The Democrats are on a witch hunt. You never Trumpers are on a witch hunt. The man is in office because he represents the people of these United States, the people who are tired of the games that the local, state, and federal people who say they represent us are not doing. What they're doing is taking time and energy and taxpayer dollars and getting paid to create this show of a witch hunt. And I think many of us are just plain tired of it. Number four, Russia did not alter the election outcome. Number five, Coney leaked his own memo. Come on! That's something we need to scratch our head about. He leaked his own memo. He leaked. You know what that means? He said, you know what? He did a Frank Underwood. For those who get it, you figure it out. Why the hell would he leak his own? Because he going to cover his own ass. He's CYA. Comey is a CYA guy. Mr. Trump says, I'm asking for loyalty. You guys had issues with that. Who does not want loyalty in their ranks? At work, they want you loyal. In a relationship, you want you loyal. You want your children to be loyal to the family, to work together. Now, all of a sudden, a man of honor says, I need you to be loyal to this administration of these United States. And you guys give him a left eye. Come on. Come wrong with you people. Come wrong with you people. That ain't, that ain't right. Okay. Um, number six. Loretta Lynch pressured Comey to cover the um, Hillary Clinton scandal. You remember Loretta Lynch met with uh, Bill, Kill Bill Clinton on that plane? See, nobody want to go back. Well, we want to go back. Let's talk about Trump. Let's talk about Trump. No, 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 no. Let's talk about facts. Because if you're going to do any type of investigation on a witch hunt, that ain't a witch hunt. That's a true hunt. Y'all should have just kept that whole Hillary Clinton madness open. Mr. Trump wants to move on and talk about how mega life for America. Making America great again. But we can't because we're distracted by all this delusional madness you guys get out there. So Loretta Lynch is pressuring Comey. He should have been pressuring her. Hey, Loretta Lynch, get your act together. 
They, they didn't do that. Okay, they amplified the evidence to put, um, I mean, come evidence as far as Hillary Clinton in jail, but Comey chose not to pursue it. Okay, there were ample amount of evidence. Let's get my words tied up. <laughs> there was an ample amount of evidence saying, look, what does that mean, Shirley? It means they had tons of things against Hillary Clinton to go after her, to get that girl. Or as, uh, uh, what was it, Jesse Jackson said, cut them at the nuts. They could have cut that woman at the nuts. I believe she got nuts because, woo, that's someone to deal with. He didn't do it. I think he was scared. Her nuts was bigger. Okay, CNN and other fake news outlets have been lying and making things up the entire time. Y'all saw that thing with CNN set up that fake news uh, uh, feed or, uh, out there with the people with the Syrian up in the street talking about, you know, it's for a movie. That was a lie. They were making fake news with the fake tape. I'm here locally in California. They're acting like Trump going to get a peach tomorrow, making these little illegal happen. Wait till Jeff Session comes in January, I mean June 30th. I'm going to talk about that in another video cuz uh we about to have a major disruption here in California. Okay, number 9, the Democrat party no longer has the abilities to scare us with this whole thing. Russia, everything is Russia. We're trying to get Russia. We're going to get Russia to, to admit that they're in collusion with Trump because Hillary, Hillary won. We want her back. We want him impeached. You're delusional. He is the president for the next four years. You're delusional. Russians not working with Mr. Trump and Mr. Trump not working with him, uh, with them. This is not a, a house of cards. Okay. This is no uh, scandal with the technology working with the Russians. You people need to wake up. The reality is Mr. Trump is president of these United States and he's going to stay that way. We voted for him. Even if you don't and you want to stay here, he's going to be your president. And the last thing, Russia's story is dead. Any Democrat that continues to push this is foolish and insane in America. You're in America. You're in the, these United States of America. I want to really thank a couple of people. I want to thank my Facebook friend, Robert Ackers, who gave me this top 10 list. I couldn't even alter to add to it because I thought it was brilliant. What I will tell you is this. This administration is waking up to the fact that it's not going to be able to play the good old boys club, the chess and checker game, to tie up the constituents with the idea that they are going to switch the script and make it Democrat again. Mr. Trump has to drain the swamp. And many of us are frustrated because we want things to move faster than what they already are. Well, part of the reason he can't because of these collusions, uh, ideas of uh, impeachment, Nixon, uh, working with Russia, these are things to distract you of what? Your life. Again, them cookies, don't eat them. Eat the right things in your life. Start focusing on the local things in California. Taxes are going up. Here you have uh, uh, Jerry Brown acting like he's commander-in-chief of the state of California, like we're our own country. And he's telling these people who are here legally, illegally, and immigrants that they are going to be more in power than the American people. They're wrong. Jerry Brown is messing this state up. He needs to be impeached. He needs to be indicted. So could Camilla Harris, that, that young leftist who acted up like she was going to cross-examine. Well, let me tell you what I am. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about what titles that you were going to hold, what titles you hold. We wanted to know, Camilla Harris, do you really want to get some evidence out of this man or you just want to get yourself promoted by dragging out your points? Nobody cares because she going to have to be worried about what's going to happen in California under Jeff Sessions, June 30th. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, please click and find the YouTube channel for Shirley Hussar. Subscribe, leave comments. Comments are brilliant. Comments are wanted. Comments that we need to talk about. James Comey, go home. you fired now. You got a lot of money. You got a lot of career left ahead of you. You're young. Everybody talking about how good looking you are. Go do something. Get paid. America, wake up. Russia ain't taking over, and Trump is still president. My President Trump, your President Trump, the Republican Party. Let's move this elephant forward. Thank you so much.